Hello everyone, welcome back to the Retro Football Kit YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm fixing the World Cup kits. Listen, we've, we've sat here, we've reviewed these kits, we've looked at them, we're now seeing them on the pitch themselves as the World Cup's happening, but now it's my time to try and fix them. Uh, I did this already like last for last season's kits, the 22-23 kits. I picked out some of the ones that I didn't like and tried to fix them with my limited Photoshop skills. Make sure you check that video out if you haven't already, but now it's time for the World Cup. I've got a selection of kits here that I think could have been made better, and I tried to do that myself. So I'm going to start with Argentina, and actually I'm filming on the day that Argentina had that massive loss to Saudi Arabia, which is crazy, but the this kit, to be honest, Adidas, Adidas kits are great this season. They're pretty good overall. But this one is just a simple, simple fix that would make this much, much better. And it's just the colour. I don't understand why the colour is broken up. Why is it not just a complete round neck? It's it's broken up. It has that kind of weird thing missing in the middle. Uh, so all I did was fill that in with black. And to be honest, for me, that makes this kit go up with two ranks or so because just it just looks way, way cleaner. So sorry to interrupt the video, but I've got to tell you about our Black Friday sale. We've got 20 20% off everything. Everything on the site right now is 20% off. It's only going to last until Monday. So if you're watching this over the weekend, make sure you check our website out. Link will be in the description if you get discount on some beautiful retro kits. Right, let's get back to the video. Now, football might be coming home, right? And if it comes home in this kit, a part of me will be upset because... <laughs> This kit is horrendous. It really, really is. England's home kit. I'm just not a fan. I haven't been a fan since the moment I saw the leak. And it's upsetting because the source material for that is much, much better. So I needed to try and give this one a, a fix. So what I've gone in and I've done, I've took the kit. You see the England kit? I deleted it. It's gone forever because we don't need it. Basically, uh, the Nike template this year, I'm not a big fan of it anyway. But as you can see, there's a theme. So what I did was I actually took Tottenham's kit from this season. Uh, and just kind of made that England. So obviously I got rid of the Tottenham badge and the logos, uh, put the England badge in there. And then with the cuffs, I took that beautiful dark blue and uh, light blue colours that the home shirt is using and put them into the cuffs. And it looks so much smarter, a bit cleaner. It, I think that kind of pays homage to the original source material a little bit better of that 96 kit. It just kind of makes that kit give a bit more meaning because that kit also had the cuffs. Uh, and then I was looking at it and I was nearly done. I was like, this is pretty good. I'm happy with this kit. But then I thought, you know what? No, there's something further we can do here to homage that 96 kit even further. And it's put a nice little polo collar on it. And we don't need to make up a color. I don't need to draw a color because we've already cut one in the home kit. No, the away kit. Sorry. The away kit's beautiful. The away kit's inspired by the 1990 kit. It already has a beautiful color with light blue elements. I literally just took that, copied it, and placed it onto this new kit that I'd made, and I think it really, really works. Now this kit, this new England kit, is more fit to homage that 96 kit, and it's also much, much better. It'd be an instant classic, if you ask me. Another Nike kit on this list is Portugal. Portugal's kit has no love in there. There's no love, the designer of this kit. I feel like they didn't really care, which is a shame. Uh, and I might be just shitting on someone's work there, and I'm sorry, but listen, it's just, it's, it's not been received well, is it? So it's supposed to be inspired by the flag. The flag is obviously one third green, two thirds maroon with the, you know, the logo in the middle, the badge, the logo, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and that's where they've kind of got, they've kind of done that diagonal and it kind of comes just off the sleeve down. Uh, and I just don't like it. I don't know, there's something about it that looks a bit too basic, a bit too simple, and there's nothing really in there. So originally I was trying to think of ways to incorporate the flag narrative into it. So I got rid of the diagonal, tried to maybe put it down on just the one third of the kit, see what that looks like, didn't really like it. I was maybe going to try wave it down a bit like the uh, Atletico maybe shirt, and I was there. And I just couldn't really get anything to stick here. Um, so then I come up with another idea. The actual pre-match training shirt for Portugal is stunning this season. It's really, really nice. So they've kind of took influence from Portugal's love of tiles. Uh, Portugal love a tile. Uh, I went to Porto this year, actually, and it's just beautiful blue tiles everywhere. Uh, and it's, it's such a thing of Portugal. So what the pre-match shirt has done is 
inspired by that, but made it really simple, geometric, and colorful. And they've put that into a, a premium shirt, and it looks really cool. So originally, I was going to try basically just put that onto the home kit, uh, which didn't really work. So eventually, I found this really, really nice tile graphic, really looking bougie, really harping to those beautiful tiles of Portugal, overlaid it on this kit, kind of taking it, the color down a little bit. So it's just a beautiful pattern that's embossed into the kit itself. And then uh, to finalize it, I added a dash of green as well, because I feel like every Portugal kit needs a bit of green. So I put that green on the sleeves and overall, that elevated it. So I added a little bit of my own narrative in there. I put a bit of love into this Portugal kit. Uh, so let me know what you think of that. Up next we got Spain and Spain's kit. It's pretty good this year. It's not actually that bad. It's got lovely, nice little navy elements to it. A little bit of yellow. And that's about it. But I just feel like it needed something a little bit more. It just needed that extra oomph into it, I thought. So I thought, how can I do that? Now, the navy is something that they've leaned to into here, something that is very prominent in the 90s, the navy patterns. And, you know, you see through the kits in the 90s, the there's navy's prominent into the Spain kit. So I thought I just wanted to bring that into it a little bit more. Uh, so I was looking through, actually, the, the Spain kits of the 90s, and the one that popped out to me was the 1998 kit. Uh, so in, instantly, and I, you kind of look at that, and then you look at the Spain kit, and you already see the, the, the similarities in the color, the fact that the weight comes down, but the new one just doesn't do the full V-neck with the thing. So I just added that, and I've, I've just completely took homage to that. Uh, so I pulled that new logo out, put it in the thing, made it a V-neck, and I think it actually looks really cool, and it's a nice little nostalgic touch to the past uh, of the 98 kits, but then also um, to continue that theme and also just to add a bit more navy into it, I took the panels underneath the uh, the arms and down going down the side of the kit and made them blue as well. So kind of that navy continues into the kit, so it's not just a red base, it adds a little bit more navy into it. And overall, I think that just kind of spruces it up a little bit. So to into the video, but I've got to tell you about these bubble hats, man. It's the first ever winter woke up, it's dark outside, it's really cold outside, but you can be ready for that with these retro football kit inspired bubble hats. I designed these myself, I'm really proud of the way they turned out. I think they look really good, if I do say so myself. Uh, it'd mean the world to me if you checked them out. So the link is in the description, if you don't mind. And right, let's go on, let's get back into the video. So this is up next, and this is a very, very simple, easy fix. Just move the logos down, big man. What are you doing, Kappa? What the hell are you doing? Why are you putting the logos here on your shoulder? No one needs them up there. Just bring them down just a tad. Just literally grab them, press the arrow keys. To be honest, it took me a little while trying to figure out where exactly to put them because like, everything I did felt wrong. But just bring them down. What are you doing? Up next, we have the Netherlands. The Netherlands kit is a lot on the eyes. Uh, it's got this really mad looking kind of pattern in the middle of it and it's supposed to represent a lion's mane because lion is you know the the team's kind of mascot uh, which is really cool it's a cool meaning i like the fact that they've done that uh and it's not the worst thing in the world really it, it actually looks much better on the pitch we've seen netherlands playing out it looks much better on the athletes than it does um but the thing is i feel like it just it's too bright i don't mind bright uh netherlands kit we've got one right there it's bright like early 2000 ones it's really cool but this one just doesn't seem right it seems like this weird yellowy orange color. So I just brought the color up of it to make it a bit more of a true, true orange. And then then I, I, elsewhere, I didn't know what else to do. So again, I looked through Kit Archive. I was looking on like other ones and two, 2000 came up. Netherlands 2000 came up and uh, it definitely looked a bit better. So I thought, you know what it needs? It just needs just cuffs. It needs some cuffs. I know I feel like I've added a lot of those in these videos, but it just frames the kit nicer. So it takes that pattern and contains it into this kit then it has nice black borders on the edges. So that's all I did for that. Pretty simple, but I do think I've made it a little bit better there. And finally, the last kit that I fixed for this World Cup is the USA kit. Uh, difficult, I don't really like this kit. It is, uh, it's one of those Nike ones, Nike template. Uh, so just weird panel on the front of it and on the back as well. So the first thing I did was get rid of that. And then I'm left with this pretty simple base of a, a USA kit, big central crest to represent one of their older teams. And then they've got the Nike on the shoulders. It's supposed to be like very American inspired, you know, it's supposed to be kind of represent American sports. So, so I get that and I do think it does do that, but it just needs a little bit more. So I took the, the blue and the red colors uh, and just again, made cuffs. I know I keep doing that, but I've made cuffs. Uh, to kind of frame this kit a little bit better. I think that works. It you know, kind of makes that thing on the arm as well, like connect more throughout the kit instead of just kind of like floating on this, the shot side a little bit. And then they just it just needed something a little bit more. It just needed that extra bit of American. 
So I added a bold eagle. Of course I did, man. Of course I added an eagle. It wouldn't be American. It wouldn't be the US of A if there wasn't an eagle on there. Come on. Come on. Don't be silly, man. Oh, God. Yeah, obviously I'm put, playing around, but I put an eagle on it. And you know what? I don't hate it. I actually don't hate it. It looks tacky, but in a good way. But maybe not in a good way. Who knows? I'm taking the piss a little bit here. But it was funny nonetheless. Uh, and then also, I showed that to the lads in the office. And they said, you know what? We The Nike needs to be below the thing as well. So I got rid of the Nike on the shoulders, put it centralized underneath. And that actually looked really nice as well. So overall, we have the most American kit you could want for. So America, I hope you're happy. And that's it. That is me done. That's me fixing the 2022 World Cup kits. Uh, I love the series. It's quite fun, actually. I did the that season doing the World Cup. Let me know what other kits that I can fix. Uh, and we'll get through it could be a new fun series on the channel so do let me know in the comments below uh, before I do quickly go make sure you check out our website we've got a Black Friday 20% sale on at the moment a huge 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 sale uh, so make sure you check it out everything's 20% off link will be in the description right that's it from me thank you for watching I'll see you later.